I think everybody everybody knows, at least in the ATCO service areas, that it's ATCO employees that wear orange. So, yeah, I always wear my, my orange jacket home. I refer to our group as the heart of heart and soul of ATCO Electric. Yeah, people are depending on you when you're driving late at night to ensure the integrity of the power grid. That uh, It takes a certain kind of person to accept that kind of responsibility. I love the work, I love the diversity. As an electrical technologist with ATCO, we, we do everything, so there's no monotony. I started on the construction crew here about four years ago. And then two years ago I moved over to service, and then just recently, last week, I started a position as a team lead we do everything here together. You've got to be a rough and tough guy that, that's not scared of getting his hands dirty. There's lots of different jobs you can do and go try. Uh, very, very easy company to work for. This would be the time to look at a career with ATCO Electric. We're going through a period of uh, great expansion and development in the Alberta transmission system. I think it's a huge undertaking in that uh, it's never really been done within this organization before. We'll have the infrastructure in place that will facilitate the growth uh, that's coming for Alberta. Just on the HVDC side of things, it is going to be really exciting. Um, there's some, some really big stuff that is going to set some people's careers going, I would say, yeah. By the time when I was into the, this department, we hardly had three to four projects. And now the number has increased to maybe around 100 projects. We'll be dealing with new technology every day, installing it, testing it, working with it, learning about it at the same time. It creates very good job security for us. I don't think I would have had the opportunity to advance as quickly as I did uh, in another organization. I was with a different organization and I didn't see that type of future uh, for me there, which is one of the reasons I did come to ATCO. I don't think this opportunity is going to come around again, um, and I think you need to embrace it as, as I am doing. As you can see, I have a hard hat, safety glasses, and steel toe boots, so uh, safety is very much a huge concern at ATCO. At any point of view, from projects, from engineering, from construction, my first word on any of my reports has to be safety. We follow the proper procedures, we isolate the equipment, we test for potential on ground. Coming to ADCO, it was, it was nice to know that someone's watching your back and everyone's working together to keep everyone safe. I have three kids that I want to make it home at the end of the day for, as well as my wife. So having a safe work environment for me is, it's the be all end all. I had a manager one time that said that the most important job you do every day is get home safe. Uh, that was kind of neat. Overall, it's been very nice working with ATCO as a family. Most important, I and my husband, we get a lot of time for each other, which wasn't a point back home. My wife, uh, my father-in-law, my son currently works for ATCO, and I work for ATCO. ADCO is pretty much my family, <laughs> in a nutshell anyway. My situation is definitely not unique. It's, um, ADCO is definitely made up of a bunch of parents and brothers and sisters and sons and daughters working together. Uh, my dad just retired after 43 years at the company, so our family knows all about ADCO. Can't say enough good about it. You know, the, the wages are awesome, the benefits are, are good. You know, but the Monday to Friday, for the most part, is a very attractive thing, especially if you're family oriented. I get to spend lots of evenings and weekends with my family to go do camping. It's just a beautiful country here. It's a lovely place to live. Having a family in Alberta, it's like never had even thought of it. If it was back home, we had to think a lot about having a baby, as from a financial point of view, from uh, education point of view and everything. Over here it was like a very free decision, free-flowing decision for us. He or she will be enjoying uh, winter time here especially. <laughs> the summer time is also good so uh, yeah it's good to have a baby in, uh, born in Alberta. You know my kids are, are really interested in anything I do. Um, one day they're gonna be a firefighter, the next day they're gonna be an ATCO employee so yeah, I definitely would not discourage them from doing that. 
I like to fly the company jets. I'm just finishing my commercial pilot's license. As a little kid, I always remember my dad going off and going up in helicopters and surveying the power line routes. And the helicopters were kind of cool to ride around in. I actually got uh, the Aborig ACO Aboriginal uh, Scholarship Award. And basically, it's for an Aboriginal student who uh, is striving towards uh, technology. It means a lot to me. I, uh, this position might not have been available to me if I wouldn't have had the scholarship. Um, I know that they offer it to summer students every year, and I was an exception because it was a summer student scholarship, and I did end up becoming a full-time employee with ATCO. Just the benefits, the work environment, and everything all combined to one, it's one of the, it is the best company I've worked for. You know, for a while there, I wasn't sure if I would retire with ATCO. The more I, the more I think about it, I'd be crazy to leave. ATCO had been on an international recruitment drive, and that's how my husband got introduced to ATCO, and he was recruited over here. They selected my wife as well. She will be part of ATCO Electric as a project manager. I was at that time working in India, so it is like a big shift for us. They have uh, business plans to develop and accommodate the foreign engineer into Canadian culture. So that is a very plus point, I would say, about the company. There are a lot of opportunities, just not from project management point of view, even from engineering and other from construction point of view. It's been a good boost up for me in the last two years that I'm working with ATCO, especially into getting my certifications and uh, upgrading my knowledge and education. ATCO has helped me a lot in it.